Well, to say it's been a cool week is kind of an understatement around here. Temperatures, while they were comfortable to start the week off with temps in the 70s, it really cooled down Wednesday, Thursday with temps only in the mid 60s and the lakefront at times in the 50s. Things are starting to improve as advertised all week long. The warming trend begins today, but it was chilly this morning. How about 46 in West Bend, Waukesha and Burlington, 47 Lake Geneva and Sheboygan. Our low temperature here in Milwaukee was 52 degrees. Had this beautiful sunrise. You can just see a few wispy clouds out there kind of creating a spectacular sunrise over Port Washington and southeastern Wisconsin. 54 degrees is the current temperature with the light northwesterly wind. The winds will be light the next couple of days, and because of that, it will allow the lake breeze to develop, but temperatures will still be warmer than they have been. Rain to the north, a few sprinkles to the south, and we just have a little bit of cloudiness this morning, but still plenty of sunshine. Temps are starting to warm up. As of 7 o'clock, we are in the low to mid 50s, even some upper 50s already, getting closer to 60 degrees from Milwaukee to Racine and over towards Lake Geneva. Highs today, getting back closer to normal. Normal now is about 80 degrees. We will be in the 70s, even upper 70s well inland. But as that southeast wind develops sometime after the noon hour, watch these temperatures along the lakefront drop back into the 60s. Even Milwaukee after high of 73 should be in the upper 60s later this afternoon. Heading downtown for the fireworks looks to be a great night uh, for firework viewing. 64 degrees, just a few clouds passing overhead. No thunderstorms, no 100 degree heat and no uh, fog. Things that we've had to deal with the past couple of years. Maybe a little cool for some of you, but overall very comfortable and that should eliminate some of the bug issues as well. The air is very dry, not only here in Wisconsin, but across the upper Midwest, and there's no sign of any big time humidity moving in here for the next couple of days. Today, tomorrow and Sunday, very comfortable dew points. It does get a little bit more humid around here on Monday, but not steamy, but you'll notice it and that'll help fuel some thunderstorms late in the day. Then the cold front comes in here Monday night and the drier air moves in for next week. For today, a light breeze that's going to allow that southeast winds to develop in the afternoon hours. and That'll help drop those temperatures into the 60s. Otherwise, clear conditions this evening and overnight tonight and throughout the morning hours tomorrow. But watch what happens tomorrow afternoon. Just a very isolated pop up shower. If it does happen, you'll be one of the unlucky ones because most of us won't see a drop of rain. But if it does happen in your neighborhood, it would be very light and very brief. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. Highs tomorrow continue to warm up. How about 60s, 70s and 80s? The 60s right at the lakefront in the afternoon, but you'll warm up into the upper 70s before the day ends, I should say, before the noon hour, and then by the afternoon, temperatures do begin to drop. But boy, look at the inland areas, and with low humidity, even nicer. If you're heading up north, temperatures this weekend will be in the upper 70s to lower 80s, both Friday, or I should say Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, with just a few isolated rain showers. Here's your seven-day forecast. 73 today, 80 tomorrow, 82 on Sunday, just a little bit cooler at the lakefront, then thunderstorms later in the day on Monday, and behind that cold front, cooler once again for next week.